Uh, let's have this question coming from, is it Minos Perdios? That's right. I hope that's the right pronunciation. Said it very sir. well, David. Thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't practice it, I just uh, saw it here. Right, Don, far away. Opinion polls show that no party will win an overall majority would, and that we'll have another coalition. Would a Labour SNP coalition be a betrayal to the millions of English voters? Mm. <laughs> All right. And Anna Subri, you start on that. Well, here's a surprise. I agree with you. It would be a betrayal, but not just to the English. It would, I think it would be a betrayal to the whole of the United Kingdom. It would be an appalling thing to have such a shabby and shoddy deal. Uh, and the Why would it be shabby and shoddy well, to have a coalition? We've got between, one now. Between Labour You've and got the, one. No, no, between the Labour, between Labour and the SNP was the general. Yes, I know. I don't have a I problem heard the with, too. Uh, in right, well, I'm, I'm talking about Labour and the SNP. It would be extremely shoddy. I'll tell you why, um, as you've asked, and I will continue. <laughs> If you look at, if you just take the example we've just been talking about in Trident, Alex Salmond has made it absolutely clear that it's a complete red line for the SNP. Uh, the SNP will not go into a coalition with Labour unless they too commit to the, the non-renewal of Trident. So the question for the Labour Party is, are you actually going to put that at risk, no. at peril? You're no. not. No. Well, then you won't be able to go into no. coalition with the SNP. No. I thought she made it absolutely today. clear. Uh, I thought Nicola Sturgeon said well, that uh, they would be deal by deal, even if Trident is... Um, well, look, I mean, look... Uh, uh, You're meant to know this stuff, so... Yeah, <laughs> no, I, just... yeah. I mean, an S a Labour-SNP coalition is uh, not at all uh, being discussed. It's not planned. We don't want it. We don't need it. You know, we couldn't be uh, clearer than that. We are working for a Labour majority uh, in this election, and that's what we're working... Uh, yeah, that goes without saying. That, that's, yeah, no, that's no, 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 I question. think it's an important point. Yeah, um, no, everybody says okay, that. Opinion the, polls show you saying the, that you won't get Okay, it. but the, the Tory party, I mean, this is the, the, the whole hype about this this week and this uh, awful poster that the Tories have, have put around. This is a smoke. A which smoke poster screen. is this that's so awful? This, this terrible one with Ed Miliband in Alex Salmon's pocket, which no one yeah. understands Quite what it's actually what's about. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, it's a, terrible, it's a terrible poster that actually no one understands. Not any, anyone normal and not in the Westminster Quite world doesn't either. understand. That, I think that, they that do poster. get it. Well, and and it's a steal, anyway. Yeah. Well, what, um, <laughs> I think they know exactly. No, no, what no. And I think it's a, it's, it's a really important point. It's the kind point. of thing his lot would be up to. Let's face it. Originally, it was David Owen was the big so one. Was. And then Boiled David Steele Steel was in the pocket. It was a yeah. spitting image sketch. But yes. if I could and just the Tories yes. have knocked off the idea and done it very badly, which yes. is <laughs> essentially their policy. And David Owen always said... David Steele. David, David Owen always said it was the wrong way round, and actually he should have been in Steele's pocket. Yes, he was always a populist, wasn't he? He was. <laughs> Go on, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, if I could just finish, well, well, finish yes. the Back point. This, this, has been, this has been launched this week by a desperate Tory party who, let's not forget, didn't themselves win a majority at the last election. In fact, they haven't won a parliamentary majority since 1992. It is a smokescreen from a desperate uh, Prime Minister who wants to make leadership... Uh, what this election is all about. Yet he's absolutely, uh, you know, avoiding and backing out and won't take part in a good old-fashioned debate. Can you answer the question <laughs> we were asked <laughs> We've by, the by, by, debate, by, by Mr. Perdios? Mm -hmm. Would a Labour SNP coalition, quote his words, be a betrayal to the millions of well, English it's voters? Not even, it's not even on the table. It's not so an it would option. be a betrayal, it's not, it? No, no, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, it's not going to happen. You can guarantee um, that the Labour Party, if you can't form a majority government, and you're in a minority, you will not go into a coalition with the SNP. You can guarantee us that, can you? Well, they're not my decisions, but I can absolutely tell you. No, no, I can, Come I can on, tell listen, you. You that are it is, very it is... senior. You are very senior. We all yeah, know that. There is, there is, let, let her answer. As far, oh, as, as far as I am concerned, and as far as I know what is going on, there is absolutely no prospect of a Labour SNP coalition. Right. I don't think we could be... Uh, clearer than that. But, you know, what you've got to ask yourself here in this election, first of all, if you're, a, if you're a Scottish voter and you want to get rid of David Cameron from Downing Street, which many Scottish voters do, then for every less Labour MPs that there are elected from Scotland, that's more and more likely. And you've also got to ask yourself the question about David Cameron, who's lo who looks like he's going to get obliterated in Scotland. Uh, you know, could he be a Prime Minister who has no representation in Scotland? He's going to virtually get wiped out in London, have no representation in the capital uh, city. So, you know, here is a Prime Minister, and by the way, 
the only party round this table who's ever done a deal with the SNP to prop them up in government are the Tory party in, uh, in, in uh, uh, the Scottish Scotland. Parliament in, in t 2007 to, to 2011. That's a surprise. All right. so, Mr Pedios, what do you make of the answers you've heard so far? Um, look, I mean, I'm not, I'm not convinced because I think in Scotland Labour are in trouble yeah, and uh, they're going to have to rely on uh, the SNP votes if they are going to form the government. And we've got finite resources. And if it's a, um, the SNP are going to demand a lot of things, and if things are transferred away from London and you know and English regions just to buy the votes of the SNP and for Labour to get into power, it will be a betrayal. And I don't think the voters will forgive Labour. Charles Kennedy. Uh, Do you know, folks, I don't know where to begin. I'm speaking <laughs> as a Scot. Um, the, uh, and I've heard an awful lot of claptrap in the last few minutes, uh, it has to be said. The question was, would the Labour Party go into... Well, what were the ones exactly? No, uh, would a Labour-SNP coalition be a betrayal to millions oh, right. of English voters? English voters. Right. Uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. In a million years, it's mm -hmm. not going to happen. Thank uh, you, Charles. Both <laughs> for Labour's interests and for the interests of the Scottish National Party. The two of them are not going to get together. Absolutely. They hate each other. They hate each other. Well, so the Tories and the Liberals <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah. I don't. Don't hate Charles Kennedy. Ian, but you've worked Charles together Kennedy. despite hating each other. We don't this is hate coalition. Each Ian, other. Ian, it's what we you've, want. Ian, you've known me a very long time. Yes, yes. That's and, a terrible uh, admission. We you've not, you've, have you've not have learned anything in the process. But the, uh, <laughs> coming back to the point, no, I do not think that there will be a Labour SNP coalition government. I think possibly the most likely outcome of this very unpredictable general election is quite simply that no party will have an overall majority and you may well have a minority government mm -hmm. but not a coalition but do you but do you envisage you said there's no way they'll work together can you see SNP and Labour not joining forces not in a coalition but to just keep government running you said well, they hate each other well I, I, I think a responsible outlook in terms of how do you manage the, the governance of the country, of course, uh, I think that will be the case. But I do not think that there will be, uh, how should we put it, I do not think there will be SNP government ministers no. right. in okay. our coalition. Can, can I say okay. something? Yes. I'm mean, just yes. something unpopular. I mean, they are entitled to vote SNP. Yeah. Um, they are allowed to return those people as their representatives. Mm -hmm. And if they do, then it's up to the SNP to take on responsibility for the whole of Scotland. They've got to represent the people who didn't vote for them in the referendum as well. So there's got to be responsibility on both sides. If we're going to end up in a coalition, which I think we will, the point of coalitions is both sets of people have to work together for the good of the union, which apparently Sorry, you know, Ian, Scotland what, voted for uh, Ian, uh, in a majority. What, what, so you can't just say this is a terrible betrayal. What, it's what those people voted for. Ian, what, what coalition do you anticipate? Well, I'm with Baker. I think Labour Conservatives the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can be sure that's not going to be the case. Yes, sir, Are you being happens? serious? No, no, I mean that... <laughs> Ken, Ken, but he was being serious. The man, man with the spectacles there. You say, yes, uh, quick. Yes. Um, it, it's just a UK parliament, after all, yeah. and Scotland is part of the UK. Oh, We've yeah, had yeah, that yeah. argument. Yeah. So yeah. surely it's a perfectly legitimate thing, especially as large part of the English voters already feel betrayed by the current coalition mm -hmm. and, the, and some of the policies they've imposed upon parts of the UK. So it seems to me I would prefer a, a single uh, party to rule uh, in conjunction with uh, getting the support of others, but mm. it seems to me they have every right to make a coalition because how those who've made a coalition already can can disparage it or claim it's some no, awful thing it seems made, odd. I think no, we've Natalie made Bennett. a good government with working with the Lib Dems and I'm Bennett. proud of the fact that we've worked well, with Natalie I think we're heading into this situation partly because in Scotland Labour could still get a very significant vote and get effectively wiped out. The certain loser from this coming election is going to be the first past the post electoral system. And that's why it's actually within the hands of the British voters in this election.
People have been trained over decades to often vote for the party or person they dislike the second most to stop the people they really hate getting in. And we've just heard Lucy talking about saying, you know, you've got to vote for us to vote against the Tories. But I've got an alternative suggestion for this election, which is vote for what you believe in. Look at your local candidate, because that's who you're voting for, is your local MP. Look at the policies of their party. There's a great website called Very Vote for Policies. Very patronising suggests people well, well, don't well, do that anyway. Well, well, well no, yes, I mean, people have been trained. People they get, leaf been people been people trained. get leaflets people through their doors saying it's a... Does that train them? It's people a two-horse race yeah. here. No, people are told... Aren't. People have well, been told people all the time. They get on a leaflet. So... so People have been doing this for decades. I've had people say to me from around the country, I've voted tactically for decades. What's wrong? And the final time I did that was when I voted Lib Dem in 2010 to keep the Tories out. Mm. They're not doing that anymore. They're saying, I'm going to try something different. Yeah. And we saw there was a uh, new Gov poll in November that said that 26% of people would vote for the Greens if they thought we could win. We've also seen mm. a situation where, on the Vote for Policies website, we're right up near the top or at the top. Which policies? Your long-term ones earlier or the, or short, the, or the, the short-term short ones? Policies, <laughs> policies that are hugely popular, like bringing the railways back into public hands. We're the only yeah. party that has that policy. And we're often accused of this being a radical policy. And this is the policy that a majority of Tory voters support. But it's not a radical not, policy, but oh. we're that's the only not people going saying to that. What's, that's not what is going to determine the next election. The most important thing is the economy. And people want to know, they want a government that they feel, can, can, that they feel, they feel safety with that in, in the economy, that will look after the economy and will deliver a better future, not just for themselves, but for their children and their grandchildren. And that's what this government absolutely economy. hasn't delivered, that, well, with a low wage, well, insecure that you employment don't agree economy. With that. I know that, you don't Natalie Bennett, why, why is it that you think these 24% who would vote for you if they thought you'd win won't vote for you? Because it's well, the it's in their hands. We'll find out whether they do or not. It's their choice. But, yeah, but with the reason why the government was asking to come, and then they just uh, why they're, they're doing, they're holding back and voting for other people. Well, well, you, would you go, go into a was, coalition. Uh, we would not, in any way, prop up a Tory government. We would not go into a coalition. What about we would, them? We would consider supporting a minority government on a vote-by-vote -vote basis fighting against the austerity of this government, which has made the poor, mm. the disadvantaged and the young... So you'd support the error Labour. The you'd support, support Labour. And on, you know they're going to do at least £30 billion pounds of cuts. On a vote so by vote support basis, them on that. All you right, would let's look go at to our issue on its merits. The, the person up there on the right, the man there, and then I'll go up to you there. Yes, let's hear from you. Come on. Um, is Miliband not making a large mistake by not disregarding the idea of an SNP coalition? Surely if he was to do so, then those on the left um, in Scotland would be more inclined to vote Labour and as such would grant Labour more power and more chance of gaining a minor, what, uh, sorry, majority. Sorry, what, what, what do you think he should do? I think if Miliband was to openly disregard the idea of an SNP coalition... Rule it out. Yeah, I think he'd have more chance of gaining a majority. Lucy Powell, why doesn't he do that? Well, I mean, I've made, made the position um, pretty clear, but yeah, I he's think... He's saying, you know, why doesn't well, he rule it out? I mean, I think the point, the point is, is that we... You know, this is for the electorate to decide the outcome of this election. You'll all be pleased to, to know. And you know, we have to set out our soul on what we believe in, why we think you know, we've got the best policies uh, for the country. And I honestly think the minute you start uh, looking like you're either conceding defeat or you're interested in sort of backroom deals in smoke-filled rooms over things you've got no control over, you know, you lose the essence of what the election is about. I, I stood as a candidate in the last election against the Liberal Democrats in, 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 a Manche in the, my next door constituency. If I had a pound for every person who said to me at that election that they were voting Liberal Democrat because they wanted to see a slightly more left-wing Labour government, uh, I would have been a very rich person. They couldn't believe it in that constituency when, in the end, then the Liberal Democrats went into bed uh, with the Tories. Because once the electorate kind of decides the outcome of the election is not clear, then you lose control. It becomes about politicians, you know, in a closed room, having discussions amongst themselves. So if you want a clear outcome, if you want a Labour government, you don't want a Conservative government, then you have to... To, to then why don't you rule out, rule out these discussions that lead to coalition? Well, so we won't have discussions. Well, I think I've been pretty clear about that. Well, you're I think talking I've been about smoke rooms, exactly what happened with you've, the Tories. Yeah. You've been very clear, but you, um, your leader hasn't, so if he you has. are so he clear... He said exactly the same words that I've used tonight. Honestly, he has. He said, he said those things. And, you know, the, 
you know, we live in this kind of world where every little word is picked up on and, and all that kind of thing. If, if, if people would then say, people oh, would then say, oh, Ed, no, but people would then say, oh, Ed Miliband concedes defeat. You know, he's not working for a Labour majority. You know, so you've got to, you, you've got, you've got, got to you, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Out what no, no, you're really not at all. I think we've made it. Pretty, I think he has yeah. made it clear, and we have made it clear. If it, but if okay. the public don't you give you a clear result, you've got to work with what they give you. Quite. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You said we, we, we've been pretty yes, clear about what we want to do. I think, as a lady from the, uh, the from the Greens said, you know, vote for who you want and uh, and work it that way. I mean, I think it's a little rich for the <laughs> Conservatives la lady to tell us to keep our options open for Syria, but to close our options down when it comes to getting into coalition. So I, I'm all for keeping your options open and see how that goes. Okay. And you, I think, I'll just go to the lady here. Um, I think. Going back to the main point. Yes. This, uh, what was the main point? <laughs> the main point about the SMP, Labour SMP coalition. Right. If Thank I, you very much. If I remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a false equivalence being drawn between the Tory and Lib Dem coalition and the Labour and SMP coalition because the former was not set out. You know, the, those two parties want to keep the United Kingdom together, whereas the SMP were created to break it apart. Right. So how can you go into government? With a, or even deal in any way with a party that, that wants to ultimately break up the country. How can that kind of party be part of government? All right. I mean, a, a brief last I mean, exactly my point. There, are, there is a huge gulf between Labour and the SNP on that issue and, and others. We are a different political party to the SNP, and that's why I want people to, to vote Labour in the election. Okay. We'll, we'll, go on to we'll go on to another question.